Hey everybody, we are going to be doing the ultimate comparison between the Tory Burch Millers that are ever so popular and the Sam Edelman, Irina, I think is the name, how you pronounce it, Sandal, which I'm actually going to jump out there on the ledge and say, these are better than our mess, okay? So let's go ahead and get started with today's video. So as you can see, I do have both pair of sandals here but I wanted to go through a few things about the different two. Now, first off, I have to say, for my folks that grew up in the 90s, and you remember the ballet flat, and Buster Brown shoes at the mall, or wherever, let me know, thumbs up, <laughs> throw a comment down below if you remember that. Okay, do you guys remember Sam and Libby? I'm just gonna admit something here, hopefully I'm not the only one that is in the same boat, but three years ago, is when I first learned that Sam and Libby is now Sam and Edelman. Sam Edelman. That blew my mind. I was just like, what? I didn't even know it until I ordered a pair of shoes, got a booklet, and they were telling like the, a brief history of the book in the booklet. And that's when I learned that Sam Edelman was Sam and Libby. So y'all remember those LA flats? Because I had some. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with today's video. So as you can see, I've spilled the beans here. I'm a super fan of the Sam Edelman shoes. I think they make great quality shoes and they can stand on their own right. I know you have other companies out there that are similar to Sam Edelman, which I, I immediately think of, which would be, I said that and then I forgot the name. <laughs> what is the name of the dog? Brother Steve. That's what Janae Naylor calls them. Um, Steve Madden, Steve Madden shoes. But I'm gonna talk about why I think the Sam Edelman's are better. So first up, let me talk about the Millers. With the Millers, as you can see, I do have this pair here. I will say that they run a little bit smaller and these are also popular with Tory Burch fans. And they're similar to the style of the Hermes, or, or Hermes, <laughs> Hermes or Ron sandals, of course, which a lot of people swear by. And some of my favorite YouTubers actually have them and say they're the great, the best shoe child i'm just going to keep watching this video if you want to know why sam edelman is going to beat them out now disclaimer here i've never owned a pair of orange and i've never seen them however seen photos seen reviews okay so <laughs> i know that's not exactly the same but anyway i'm biased and that's okay i can be <laughs> so with these sandals here these are my millers i've had these for two years in the rose gold color and I will say that they're, they, the thing that is, one, attractive about them is the nice style. They're great. They're at a good price point. They are comfortable, which is something that flat sandals need to be. If, if your flat sandals are uncomfortable, which I've had a pair from Stuart Weitzman, cute PVC sandal with pearls on them. Those were the worst shoes. How is a flat sandal uncomfortable? I got rid of it. I had to sell it. I was like, I, I'm not, I'm not going to run these shoes, even though they were so cute. But anyway, so these run about $198. Tory Burch has so many colors, so many different finishes with these shoes. So if you're looking for a lot of variety and you just, you know, really want a Tory Burch piece, then, you know, the Millers are going to be a great option. As you can probably see, if I turn it like this a little bit, my toe print in there, my toe print in there, but it's also rubbing. So that is something that I was not completely a fan of. And I didn't fully think about when I got these rose gold sandals was the fact that this rose gold, rose gold is, does come off fairly easily. So I am mindful of that with the use, which is kind of sucks because like I said, these are almost $200 if you don't get them on sale. But the heel height is half an inch but they are a thinner profile. When you wear them, they fit securely on the top part of your foot. So it's not like you really have to think about them. Sometimes when you have sandals on, you have to think about what you have on. You have to think about your movement. Make sure that your foot is in there, but it fits very securely because I'm not showing my feet. So we're just going to do it with the hands. <laughs> it fits like this, which makes it very comfortable to walk in. You have your security here that is laying against the top of your foot. And then you also have your toes that are hooked in the between where it's in between your big toe and the toe next to it. So that way it hooks in there really well. So these are very comfortable. Like I said, you don't have to think about it. Great vacation shoes, bait, great. I'm going to run to the store. Great, you know, great shoes to have. Now, if you have not already, 
please take this chance to go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I cover topics related to fashion as well as lifestyle and hand hair care. <laughs> I was about to say handbags. Handbags is in there too. Very heavy. Handbags is in there too. <laughs> but those are my topics that I typically cover. So if you are enjoying this video, and at least if you're at this point, just go ahead and hit the like button, please. And please also subscribe consider subscribing also share me with some friends all right <laughs> let's get back to the rest of the video sam edelman also has a shoe that i would say is more similar to the tory birch miller and that would be the bay slides so the bay slides run at 120 dollars. i'm looking at my notes over there so i would say as far as the styling goes the or the hermes or rons i would say and the bay slides Actually, I think these are closer to the Oran style and the base lines are closer to that style, but they're kind of very, very similar in a lot of ways. But the thing that I love about these Irene uh, Arena sandals are the fact that these run about, these are not about, these are $130. And last year I got these, so I have not worn them in the summertime yet because I got them in the fall. However, I have walked around them in the house to make sure they were going to work for me. But the fact that last year when I got these, they only had a white pair and a black pair. And now they have, I think, six or seven more colors. Says that people are like the shoe and they've decided to expand, especially when they've added more colors. And I'm sorry, before I move forward with the base slides, the heel height is, I think, a half an inch as well, I believe. Let me just look at my notes here. It doesn't say because I couldn't, I couldn't find that information. But with the base slides, it it's very comparable as far as like options, color options and finishes because they have 17 different leather finishes and color options that you can get with the base slides. So I would say those are more similar as, as far as like opportunity to kind of get a variety and they're less expensive. The, and I'm sorry, I forgot to mention that the Tory Burch Millers are padded where I do find with um, some luxury brands, I'm not gonna say all, but some luxury brands that I've tried, they seem to skimp on the padding. I will say Steve Madden skips on the padding in some of their shoes too, but Sam Edelman, Sam, you're gonna get padding in your shoes, guaranteed. Sam Edelman is gonna give you some padding. They're gonna make sure your feet are comfortable. <laughs> I can definitely say that. Okay, so back to the Irenas. And so I said, these are three, sorry, I'm sorry, $130. The thicker platform is the reason that I love these shoes so much. And I'm going to say, hands down, doo doo brown, these are the shoes you need to get. As long as you're okay with the, the limited colors that they have. They have six other colors, six other color options, like I mentioned. So this heel here, you have a half an inch platform. I love the fact that this is so much thicker and feels much more like a sturdy like a high-end shoe than the tory birch millers because of this thicker platform i feel like this shoe is a much elevated option it's not as flimsy of a fit with the sole look at this now i don't know what those hermes ones do but all i know is if you are looking for a shoe less than 600 dollars get this one <laughs> like you see how this one bends this one's almost 200 dollars. and i'll say i mean really what you are getting here is the tory birch name which that's fine if you know why you're buying a shoe and it's okay if you want a shoe just because of the brand name nothing is wrong with that at all that's what you want to do go after it and get that but I will say as far as value for money goes and what you're getting, this one's going to be better. One is a thicker sole. I feel like this feels much more substantial and is a, it's more significant feeling. And that's how, I, that probably doesn't mean anything, but that's the best way I can describe it. It feels more sturdy, more firm, more of a significant feel when I have this shoe on because of this thick platform here. And this base here comes a little bit further up on your foot so for example it comes here versus maybe with the the tory birch miller it would come a little bit further up this way where this one's more kind of in this area here but i really like the style and design of this shoe and like i said it is a more firmer shoe it feels more substantial also 
like I said, Sam Elliman is going to give you some padding. These have great padding. So if you want a great affordable shoe, and I get affordable, it means different things to different people. This is truly before I go buy another Tory Burch sandal. And mostly I was getting it because I love the color option and it was a Tory Burch sandal and I like Tory Burch products. I'm going after Sam Edelman. I'm not getting the Tory Burch Millers anymore. These are much better. Actually, Tory Burch had some shoes that were similar to this style a couple of years ago. I decided not to get them. I remember it was like a navy blue color and they had a tassel and they had like an orange color. And I decided not to get them because I figured, oh, I mean, like when you look at the shoe, you think that is a nice shoe. And that's what I thought when I saw it. And I thought, well, Tory Burch is elevating their shoes. They're doing a little bit more than the Miller sandals. And obviously this shoe will be back. Well, it's not. <laughs> I can't find it. And you see more expansion of the Millers, which and the Cloud Millers and all of that, which I know those are probably more popular than the shoe like this was. But if, like I said, it's my opinion because I'm doing this video. <laughs> this is a much better shoe for that reason. I You're getting more bang for your buck with this shoe. I think it just looks very elevated. I think it looks more refined. So if that's the look you're going for, and it just looks more sleek and, you know, gives you this. <laughs> and a sandal. If those were words, if my shimmy was a word, that is what this sandal is. So I'm going to say go for this one. A much better option than your Tory Burch Millers. Like I said, they do have the base slides. I don't have a pair of the base slides. But if you want something a little bit more closer, that would be that vibe. Also, Sam Edelman has, let me see here. There's another option called the Fritz slide. That's $120. That one's a good option. But Sam Edelman, I don't think gets the attention. I know a lot of people talk about Steve Madden a lot. A lot of people will mention Tory Burch. And, but, but you never really hear a lot about Sam Edelman. And I'm just going to say, I, I'm a big fan of Sam Edelman. All my work ballet flats, most of my work ballet flats are Sam Edelman's. They do a great job making a good quality shoe at a, a more approachable price point than something with a more designer or more recognizable name on it. And I'm going to say, like I said, blows Steve Madden out the water. Steve Madden truly does not have a lot of padding in their shoes. Sam Metalman does. All right, so that is my video for day, today. Let me know if you have heard of Sam Metalman, tried some Sam Metalman shoes. What do you think about them? And I will talk to you again soon. Make sure you like this video and comment. Subscribe also. Bye.